Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Steffi Drew, and this week we're taking it easy, uh, taking you along on a vlog. So yesterday I got another delivery from my friends over at Live Fit Foods. I'm gonna show you this box. Live Fit Foods, and I'm super excited. Um, they have chef made chef cooked fresh made meals so if you guys watched my video last time i did order one of their packages but this time around i decided to order mostly breakfast items so if you are interested come along this week uh to see what i eat for breakfast from live fit foods for a week all right so real quick before i pop it in the oven i already have the oven preheated um this is what the packages look like heat eat repeat live fit chef cooked fresh meals um and then everything's just on the inside. Can I use your hand? Can you pull that out for me? Da, 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 da. Um, so today I'm going to be eating apple crumble French toast and then all the instructions are on the back. So some information here. This meal is crafted by chefs and made using ingredients that support our communities and fuel our bodies, which is really awesome. Um, and then right here, remove sleeve and heat in microwave or oven. And it shows instructions for both two to four minutes in a microwave. We don't have a microwave, so I'm going to be doing it in the oven, which is already preheated. Eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So you literally just put it in the oven like this. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven uh, and and we're gonna eat it. So even though we are a year later, it seems like we are basically back in the same position as we were last time I did one of these videos. Um, but here in Toronto, we are in a stay at home order. So both of us are working from home. So these meals are coming at another really convenient time. Because I'm working from home, I particularly don't like to cook much. <laughs> Um, and so, and if it re requires much preparation, especially during the day, I probably won't do it. So having these meals is actually really awesome. It makes us, especially having them for breakfast, makes starting my day really easy. Uh, so I can just pop it in the oven and it's good to go. So, yeah, super stoked about that. Yeah, you should see my healthy breakfast though. <laughs> This video isn't about your healthy breakfast, it's about mine. It's too bad. <laughs> also, if you're interested, make sure you wait until the end of the video so you can learn how you could potentially win a $100 gift card to spend at Live Fit Foods. Stay tuned to the end. All right, so I just pulled it out of the oven and plated it. This is what it looks like. It's essentially just like French toast with like this apple, literally what it sounds like, an apple crumble. I put it on top, poured over some syrups, and now we're gonna eat it. Okay, the moment of truth. Now that it's been soaking, uh, it took a while for me to get to this because I was taking photos of the food, uh, but now it's like soaked in the maple syrup. That's pretty dang good. not as hot as I would have liked, but that's a me problem for taking so long for taking photos. Not a your problem. Yeah, this one gets a thumbs up for me. Just going to um, finish my breakfast and it is Monday, so probably just spend the rest of the day organizing myself. Uh, so the next time I will see you will be tomorrow morning for breakfast number two. Good morning, it is Tuesday, another day, another breakfast. I've got the oven preheating and today we are eating a Lifit's Fiesta omelet with sweet potatoes. This is what this one looks like. Got the two omelets and then the sweet potatoes underneath. So I'll pop this in and uh, let you guys know what it tastes like. This is what my food looks like. A moment of truth, Tuesday breakfast. Mmm. Mmm, omelet is nice and fluffy. Sweet potatoes are always good. It's got like this Southwest sauce on it. 
kind of spicy. Yeah, this one's good. I'd have this again. And it is day three of Live Fit breakfasts. Getting ready for my day, but I've got the oven preheating and today we are having pancakes. Pancakes with blueberry syrup. Ooh. So this is our breakfast today. Blueberry, you can literally never go wrong with blueberry pancakes with syrup. Um, I know I'm gonna like this. Mm. Pretty freaking tasty. Now considering the, the um, pancakes were frozen when they arrived, they still are nice and fluffy, a little bit crumbly, but I mean, they taste delicious. So if you're getting breakfast, this one is a must have. And I'm kind of sad I only got one of these. Um, one thing I was going to mention real quick, and I don't think I, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video. Um, I do keep most of my meals in the freezer throughout the week because I don't always know if I'm going to have them all right away. Um, but I usually try to pull them out of the freezer and put them into the fridge the day before so that they can dethaw, and that way the ingredients are all the freshest possible essentially when I cook them up so as I was cooking this one I pulled out breakfast for tomorrow I won't tell you what it is yet you'll have to wait and see in one second when I'm heating it up all right friends we are on day four of breakfast with lift it foods and today I'll show you what it looks like in the package we are having ham egg and cheese wraps with oops, drop it in the sink with roasted potatoes uh this looks pretty like hefty like this looks like it's gonna be pretty filling um but it is kind of brunch it's a little bit of a later breakfast today so i'm gonna pop it in the oven and uh and then we'll give it a taste i feel like this whole video is just like this is what i well that's what this video is anyways so we'll pop it in the oven and see how it tastes all right roasted potatoes ham egg and cheese wrap um, I did get a little taste of this, so there's like a sauce on it. It tastes like that, I'm pretty sure it's the same, like that Southwest sauce that was in the Fiesta omelet, which I do like, it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Um, and this looks like a lot of food. <laughs> this is for like your hungry days. Potatoes are okay. Almost like a little dry, but the wrap itself, at first I was kind of just expecting this, excuse me, to just taste like the Fiesta omelet. Mm. Right here. Um, but the flavor on the inside is definitely different. It's very nice. The like egg is nice and fluffy again um you can taste the ham and cheese i don't know if i love the potatoes in this one but i do quite like the wrap so this one's a go for me all right friends it is day five of breakfast live fit breakfasts and today um, we are having apple crumble. We are having apple crumble waffles with syrup. So very similar to the first breakfast I had. I know I'm gonna like it. Instead of French toast, it's waffles. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so I have the oven preheating 350 degrees and I'll pop it in. I'm probably gonna pop it in for a little bit longer because I've been finding that it hasn't been quite warm enough. Um, so I'll leave it in for maybe 11 minutes instead of 10, and then we'll give her a bite. Mm. 
Right. Time to dig in. I probably should have grabbed a knife, but I was impatient. Mm. Yeah, this is good. The maple syrup is. I would say a little bit of like a thinner maple syrup, so it soaks right into the waffle, which is really tasty. I mean, I knew I was gonna like this. I'm gonna spread the apple crumble across my waffle. If you are someone who doesn't like a sweeter breakfast, I would say this one probably isn't for you, but I mean, I like to indulge every once in a while, so. All right, friends, we are on day six. I think it's day, it's my last day of Live Fit breakfast. So I'm not doing a full week. I only got six breakfasts. I do, however, have a couple other items, but if you wanna know how those turned out or what they look like, just ask. Uh, but it is our last day of Live Fit Breakfast, so we've got the oven preheating, and today it's more of a brunch. I am having bangers and mash. This is what it looks like pre-cooked. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and uh, plate it, and then we're gonna see how it is. Cue the sirens, because this is on fire. All right, so this is what the bangers and mash look like. Oh, focus. It was focused. Get rid of my face. This is what the bangers and mash looks like. Not as like picturesque on the plate, I guess, as the other breakfasts. Also, disclaimer, this is probably more of like a lunch or something than a breakfast, but when I was reading it, I was like, oh, bangers and mash? Yeah, I'll have that for breakfast, so. So we're eating it for brunch. It's got like onions and peppers, mashed potatoes. Or is it mashed cauliflower? I'll have to double check, but. There's plenty of flavor in the mash. That's really good. Try this banger. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, I feel like this is more of a lunch or like a brunch like I'm having. Um, I guess you can eat whatever you want whenever you want. It's definitely a little different than the other ones that I've had, but also very, very tasty, so. So good. Okay, I just finished that meal and it was oh, so, so good. Um, I did double check. It is a cauliflower mash and it is a keto friendly meal. So if you are on a keto diet, also if you, if you have other diet restrictions, there are options available on the site. So definitely check it out. All right, a few final thoughts before I leave you for the week. First of all, I hope I've made you hungry. Um, second of all, huge thank you it goes out to Live Fit for hooking me up with some meals this week. One of the things I, and I've mentioned it before, one of the things that I love about Live Fit is the fact that it takes the decision making out of your day when it comes to food. So this week in particular, I got up and I made breakfast and I didn't have to think about it, I didn't have to plan anything. They were already there for me. Um, I love that they're quick and easy to make and also the fact that they have so many different meal options. Also, depending on your diet, they have options that are available to you. If you are in Ontario or Quebec and you're interested in ordering, you can check out their app. They do have an app where you can do all your ordering or you can just go to the website. I also have a discount code. So if you use tallest20, you can get $20 off your first order. It is not an affiliate code. They did cancel their affiliate program. So it is just my gift slash LiveFit's gift to you uh, if you would like to try them out for the first time. And 
finally, if you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me there now. I am going to be doing a giveaway for $100 to spend at LiveFit. To check out the details and see how you can win $100 to spend at LiveFit. But I think that's it. I've covered all my bases, I've eaten a lot of food, and I still have a couple of meals to go. So, I'm gonna leave you there. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like that video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Join the Drew Crew and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a video next. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.